Hey there, everybody. Uh, I decided to go ahead and do the ballpoint pen challenge this week. I've kind of been struggling on what I wanted to do as far as challenges go, and this one just seemed like um, pretty natural for me to do because back in nursing school, that's basically all I did was doodle and pen all over my notes. Um, the pen you see me using is a purple medium point uh, zebra Z grip. I just grabbed these pens like Cheapo Depot from Walmart to take notes with and um, eh, they're off and on pretty good but um, the challenge really I believe is to just get a pen and doodle and it's supposed to be like a full drawing from beginning to end sketch and color and all that good fun stuff with one pen and purple is like one of my favorite colors to sketch in um, even though I don't really do it a whole lot but yeah yeah you know those little fun facts about me. Um, I decided to go ahead and use Cherry of Boylan this week because I've kind of been on a kick with uh, drawing her lately and I just figured I'd roll with it. I mean, why not? She's pretty BA. Um, and since she's a scrapper, I was like, well, let's just draw her in a scrapper pose. I'm actually having a lot of fun drawing muscles on women these days, so that is exactly what I did. Um, the video itself is actually kind of longer than I wanted it to be, but I didn't want it to only only be like a five minute video either. I wanted you guys to be able to actually see the process. So I went ahead and slowed it down and told myself, it's all good. They still love me. So I did. Um, so the challenge is with a pen. Obviously, the biggest one is you can't erase. So any line that you put down, you kind of have to work into the piece, which really isn't that difficult when you're using... Um, cross hatching and things like that to do your shading if you use chiaroscuro shading blah 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 all those fancy artsy fartsy terms um it's actually not that bad like even right here you can kind of see I overdid it with the with the back of the hand and everything but I just went ahead and laid the line in anyway and kind of roll with the punches ha 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 I get the joke um yeah so I think the biggest challenge with working with pen, aside from the fact you can't undo your mistakes, is you really have to have an idea of what you're planning out. Now, in, in my case, I kind of already, I know the character, so I kind of have an advantage there. Um, but if I was like drawing someone's just random character with a pen, I, I would definitely be struggling with it. And I probably would not have done a challenge based on someone else's character. But um, with Cherry, I'm pretty intimate with her at the moment. So, yeah. Um, the hair, I think, was a pretty big challenge because I didn't, like, with the ballpoint pens, it, it, it's not so much layering as it is pressure. Because um, you can layer and you can do pretty good. And if you layer and you crosshatch, you can get some pretty dark darks. The problem is, is you don't want to push too hard because you'll go through the paper. It's a ballpoint pen. And um, I, they don't bleed, don't get me wrong, but they can tear up some paper. So... I tend to build up as I'm working instead of doing those nice deep lines like my brush pen would give me deep lines right away and um, ballpoint pen obviously is not going to do that uh, and I tend to keep my shapes a little bit simpler um, I don't try to get like the the hand that's being held in a fist there I kept it incredibly simple I mean that's actually one of my default fists <laughs> And looking at it now, I'm like, oh man, that's way bigger than the other fist. And I was like, well, whatever. It's it's foreshortening. I, I'm, I've got a million excuses. But um, I tend to keep things a little bit more simple. And then as my mind kind of connects with what I'm trying to portray, then I go in and I add in those details. Even here, it's like, okay, I know where I want the shading in the um, shirt to be. So I'm kind of going in and I'm being a little ballsy, if you'll forgive the term. And just kind of hammering that in right now um, and that actually is shifts quite a bit later on but that's okay that's part of the challenge again is you just learn to work with the material you have um, there are some really amazing ballpoint pen artists I won't lie when I first started doing art and getting into deviant art and things like that one of my favorite artists what was her name Renee Atkinson she only used um, Bic click sticks and that was it and like sharpies she used sharpies to fill in the big um the big blocks of dark and i commissioned her and like i love her stuff 
and it was just on printer paper and a big click stick and I was like how could she do such amazing things it's like I need like six different pens to do exactly what she did and it's just practice um because I'm at the level that she's at you know so it honestly just getting out there and doing it obviously a lot of people don't like to just take pen and go at it honestly I don't either I like penciling but um it's a really good exercise in control not like you know the control that I have over my camera there as it's shaking around all crazy and I apologize for that I tried to stabilize it as much as possible um unfortunately uh my stand is not very stable <laughs> but anyway but yeah back to the point um a lot of artists I mean some artists do like Joyce on I know for sure she totally goes at it with just a straight up uh pen and does a ton of doodles and she's really really good at it but then you run into issues like right here that I have a cherry because she's a mouse and she's two-toned um, I have to find just the right amount of pressure to convey shadows in her two-tone areas but not overpower the lighter toned areas or blend too much into the surrounding areas which did end up becoming a struggle later on in the piece um, the hair is actually pretty simple if you go in the direction that the hair is going in you will you'll get there um, it'll take a few passes, quite a few passes actually, as you see me furiously coloring there. But um, if you go in the direction of the hair, so you have to understand how hair works, um, you'll you'll get there. And it'll actually look really nice. I think the hair turned out pretty good, all things considered. Um, I was kind of adding into it at the last minute. And I never work in the same area for too long. I move around on my pieces. So you'll see me, like I was working on hair and now all of a sudden, oh, the shirt, the shirt is calling to me. So now I'm going to work on the shirt because, yeah, see, I'm trying to stabilize that stupid stand, but my furious coloring, my goodness. Um, What else can I say about this piece? I, it was fun. I haven't doodled in pen since I graduated, so it was actually kind of fun to get back into it. And I've never actually done it in a sketchbook. It's always been on lined paper, like amongst my notes. Uh, I think the last one I did was a comic, one of the Dirty Duck comics or Dirty Bird comics. I don't remember 100%, but um, I haven't done it in a while and I kind of miss it. So I might start just doing that for funsies. Oh, let's see. Go back, Going back to the hair. Yeah, that two-tone was a challenge because then I started realizing everything's kind of blending in too much with the shirt and blah, blah, blah. Now, I used some of the cross-hatching to kind of pull away from the um, different parts of the piece the shirt from the skin and things like that I tried to keep the skin one directional and I just cross hatched all around for um everything else oh and then I made a mistake here I didn't realize what direction the hair was going in <laughs> so it's kind of foobard up there at top but I just I'm gonna say her hair is messy from scrapping and I'm gonna stick with it and you guys will notice that I'm actually using music in the background this time I've had I counted it. It was like 11 requests from people to start putting music in the background. I'm like, why? If you're listening to what I say, but you know, it is what it is. I don't mind. I just worry about um, copyright stuff. And I know that YouTube provides quite a bit of free music for people to put in the backgrounds of their um, drawings and speed paints and things like that. So as long as I'm pulling from that resource, I guess it's okay. I just, I don't want to mess up my AdSense because I, you know, cave into peer pressure <laughs> such a pushover <laughs> but it's okay um i'm gonna give this a try and see how it works if it sounds good then maybe i'll keep doing it i do tend to like talking to you guys without any distractions in the background but some people kind of like that and you know i'm not against it i just i prefer you guys hear what i have to say but i could always just make my mic super super loud and the music super super soft which is kind of what i'm doing for this one but yeah, so I'm sitting here, see, and now I'm working the shirt, and then I'm just layering and layering and layering to try to differentiate between her arm and that shirt, and I'm like, eh, it's not working very nicely. And then shading the um, lighter areas for her fur, I kind of gave up on that. I was like, you know something, forget it. Forget about it. It's okay. It's okay. It still actually turned out really, really good, I think. I'm actually very happy with this picture. I almost wish, because at the end I do write on it, I kind of wish I hadn't written on it. I'm like, oh, messed it up. It would have been like really cool to hang on the wall or something. Trying to fix that hair up. I kind of wanted her to have like a muscled look. And obviously she's messed up because she's got bloody nose. Because, you know, she scraps. That's what she do. It's what she do. 
Yep, and then even here I'm like, oh, let's add in more braid. Typically her braid is over her shoulder, but I imagine that when she's actually out fighting and sparring or whatever she's going to be doing, it's not going to be in her way. Look at that muscle. Look at that bicep. Man, she's swole. I love it. Um, and I forgot the wrap around her wrist there. But again, eh, one pen challenge. Who cares? Um, you try to go and do it as best you can and see what happens. But yeah, here you guys go. I mean, it's pretty much done at this point. Um, I'm just kind of going in and touching a few things up and darkening a few areas. With one pen, you guys, monochromatic... Uh, artwork is totally possible it is a cheap pen i it, i mean it was sputtering while i was using it i was like ah but that's exactly why i bought it was because it was a cheap pen and i didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it now if it was black it would have been even better i think it would have really made the piece pop a bit more but i really wanted to work with my purple because i just i prefer the color purple and black is so boring but yes you see i'm gonna go ahead and write on it uh, so that's my uh, ballpoint pen challenge. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, like and subscribe if you subscribe if you do. Comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.